money spending time. Can you guys hear that? Can you guess where we're at right now? We're at the Home Depot. Got my boys with me. Big Connecticut. Jeff and Nick. Uh, Trappy went on vacation. Uh, let's go that way. Let's go to the end. Trappy went on vacation. He's doing his thing with his family. We got to get some work done. So we got to pick up a bunch of material. We're introducing this vlog here live at Home Depot, basically. And uh, we got to get some progress. I hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog. Thank you for the positive comments. Thank you for the thumbs up. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button because we do some epic shit here. No, no, I swear to God, we do some real, we do some real dope stuff here. So, appreciate you for being here. Let's start gunning. Alright, now. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Okay, boys. How's your morning? Don't mess this up. Oh, morning's pretty well. Traffic is shooty today. Tell you that. I'm trying to get one of these kits right here. All right, we gotta find some supplies. We definitely need more brushes than that. So, you think we should buy them individually? Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. So you know what? We should also look for the stuff that we're gonna. We made a list, but mm -hmm. we should definitely look for the stuff to. Uh, fill those those concrete cracks so I don't know if we possibly can get some somebody was saying some flex flex seal and then somebody was saying something about um, uh, well Seb said the concrete yeah, yeah. so maybe we could do both because that hole that's bringing in all that water that guy's that guy's a big leak all right let's uh let's put together a nice kit I don't know boys this looks like a a pretty good bargain right here. So twelve dollars and ninety-seven cents, and you get uh, six pieces here: two brushes, a roller, paintbrush, probably just two pans in there, paint pans, paint trays, whatever that's called. Oh, here we go: uh, two high-quality rollers, one angle brush, one pro frame. Oh, this tray, tray liner, one metal roller tray. Maybe we can grab a couple of these. Like three or four? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. All right, brushes out of the way. So we picked up some. Hey, yo, doing a vlog. All right. Um, we picked up two extra trays, 11-inch paws, just in case, so we don't spill any. Now we need some poles. So, what do you say? Get like four poles, paws, or three of us? That's not long enough, no, paws. No. Oh, yeah. It is a pause. It is a pause. It's a good pause. All right, so we got to get some uh, some poles for painting. Look, this one looks adjustable, like it goes higher. Looks the same distance, right? That's yeah, a little bit taller. Might be a good one. Might be a good one. Give it a try. See how it is. Give it a try. See how it is. Yep. Yeah, that's the one. It's the one. All right, let's get that. Uh, so we were considering doing uh, concrete, but it's gonna do, make such a mess. And then we have to buy a whole bunch of supplies to like make it happen and spatulas and buckets and all this crazy stuff. We're looking for like a concrete sealer here. And this one looks like exactly what we need. See that? Fills and seals cracks, holes in concrete, paintable, flexible, nice. Easy, easy water cleanup, low odor, interior, exterior. This is perfect. I think we should get maybe like three or four of these, get some guns, and uh, fill up all those cracks too. What's good? How you doing, man? All right? How you doing? How you doing? You, you was wild close, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 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 Let's
we got uh, some great help from this gentleman here. He's going to help us out. Uh, so this is the dry lock, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not that expensive. It's 26 bucks. I thought it was more. Nice. So we got 500 square feet. But we only want to do like up to here, down, and then we have like another maybe six feet up. Because uh, the, the top doesn't leak at all, it's just you, the bottom. You're going to have to get a five gallons because you won't get uh, too much uh, square footage with oh, this one. Oh, perfect. This, oh, it comes in five gallons. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. This one is really thick. So. Oh, you know what? We might as well just do... We might as well just do one of those. It could paint the whole garage with dry lock. And if anything, you could paint over it. That's perfect. Because we want to make half the garage black uh -huh. because we work on cars. Uh -huh. And we just want to be able to like clean. And if we know if we do it all white, then all the dirt is going to go onto that. So we're doing the garage floor with this stuff right here. And we're doing the walls, hopefully, with some... Well, maybe we grab one of those. Maybe the extreme one, because ours is pretty bad. Yeah. And we bought some concrete like ceiling. So we're gonna fill the cracks up with this and then paint over it with that. I think that that will fill up the cracks with no problem too. Oh yeah? That's really thick. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, awesome. So it looks like we're gonna take the dry lock here. We'll probably go with the extreme one to be really sure. I think five gallons is gonna do the whole garage. Hope so. Yeah, I think so. And if it, if it don't, we could just we could just pick up whatever else we need. Awesome. That's great. This guy was real good help. Thank you so much. Fourteen months. No. My oh boys are shaking up that shaking up that good stuff for us right now. Cool. And um, this lady's in love with this guy's dog. What a beauty. This, this is, she's one of the best employees she, She's awesome. She's awesome. She's awesome. Get that guy shaking up for us. We also picked up uh, a lot of gunners suggested this, and I've seen it on YouTube a lot. This Rust-Oleum uh, concrete and cleaner, uh, the greaser for concrete. Um, we cleaned the garage, obviously, yesterday in the vlog and whatever, whenever you've seen it. But definitely needs another coating when we're done. We definitely have to clean it again. I think uh, Jeff went to go get the uh, more squeegees, but I'm excited. Getting our paint at the Home Depot. Almost time to check out. Almost time to check out. We definitely got to make a few trips here because we still have to get our uh, our shelving. We still have to do the black, obviously, on the bottom of the floor. We still got to get a, a clear coating for the floor, too. Definitely going to be a few trips. You already know, when you're renovating something, when you're revamping something, you're always going to come to Home Depot a few times. Not a bad price. So we got everything for right here. 333 bucks. Don't mind if I do. Oops, forgot Uncle Sam. Forgot Uncle Sam. Make sure that lady don't look at my Please password. Please remove your card. Make sure she don't look at my password. All right, let's blow this joint. Nah, nah, yeah, what wheel? <laughs> what wheel? Yeah, what wheel? Yeah, let me get some. Hold on, son, let me get some. Yeah, yeah. And he's switching gears. Nah, he's different. Up the hill, no hands. Yeah, nah, he's different. Love, love, love. Got our supplies, Carlitos here. He came through to help. Early in the morning, he bought his radio. Bluetooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's prepared. All right, hey boys, I think the first thing we should do, I wouldn't even worry about that. We know most of our cracks are in the back. We should just seal up the concrete first because tomorrow's gonna rain. So we gotta make sure we get, give it time to dry now. Next two days. Next two days, yup, big rain. So I think the first thing we're gonna attack is trying to fill up. I'm sorry about the fan. We're let, trying to let everything dry. We're gonna fill all this up right here with that stuff that we bought. And then obviously the major guy down there. And then maybe we can scrape this off with the spatulas that we bought. But we're about to get down to work. 
I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you? Got the yeah, trip. this might be the flyest helper ever. Let's go. Yeah, you can see. He's I got the drip. And he got Rockefeller Air Force Ones on. I see you, man. <laughs> Just filling in the uh, the pop uh, the cracks so we can paint over this later. We're not going to paint this side of the wall today. Just take a, a cup of water, dip your finger in it. It's a trick that Seth taught me, so just go like that. Just patch up any cracks so that. Again, this is the first time I've ever done this, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going based off instructions. This stuff's really thick, man. It's sealing up, though. See that? It's filling all the cracks all on its own. We're getting to it guys, we're getting to it. It's looking brighter in here already. Um, basically what we did with the dry lock was do the bottom of the shop because that's where all like the mold and everything is. So uh, kind of just Googled it and seen what the dry lock was for. It's basically waterproofing. So. Did the bottom, patch up a few holes, but it looks like right here that the foundation is starting to get wet. It looks like it's coming up the water from the bottom. There's nothing leaking along the wall, so we just got in the corners real heavy with the dry lock. Put this fan real quick. Again, basically just put the dry lock in all the cracks. It honestly just filled it up really, really good. So we're, we're gonna get our spray gun, our paint spray gun. We've got some white paint at Mike's shop and then we're just gonna shoot the entire shop with white paint. And then I'm gonna say about here, one, two, three, four, five cinder blocks down, we'll make it black. So that maybe four, because we just really wanna keep this bright. So maybe four cinder blocks Maybe about right here, down, will be black. So when we do wash the floor and clean the floor, none of the dirt or oil or antifreeze or anything goes on the white. But, man, we just been, honestly, we've been really gunning, gunning. Galito's doing this thing, Nick, Jeff. Now we're just doing some final touch-ups, getting in between all the cracks. Don't really care about the floor much because remember we still have to degrease and um, concrete etch the floor. So, so far so good. We'll tear all this stuff down. We'll run an extension cord and we'll just spray all of this white. The entire garage. White, maybe the back of the door so it could just stay bright in here. So when we do close the door, it still kind of looks like this. But... So far, so good, man. Um, I'm grateful for these gentlemen being here, too. God is good. Still gunning. We got reinforcement, gunners. We got reinforcement. Went and borrowed this from Mike. He said we should be finished in like a half hour. I didn't know we can spray the, uh, the dry lock with this. He said we could have. He's seen it on Instagram a little too late. But nonetheless, we got our paint here. It's only about probably three quarts in there which is fine we'll just see how it works exactly the boy's been taping up stuff here so everything's gonna look nice and clean still got to tear down some of that but uh let's see how this machine works
I saved you the troubles of going in there. I told you, man, when you're working on something, you gotta make a few runs. Hey, 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 come on now. Hey, 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 tracking you. Hey. Uh, you gotta make a few runs to Home Depot. So I just picked up five gallons of uh, semi-gloss paint. Uh, shout out to the guy in there, Jason, hooked me up, gave me a $31 discount. Came out to a total of about, uh, about 130 bucks for five gallons of paint. So I'm heading back to the garage now, hook that up, and hopefully we can knock out all the white today. Get those pipes too, pause. Nice. That's it. We're done with painting the walls. We're solid white. What we did was um, dry lock the bottom since our mold situation. And then we sprayed the rest. We kind of messed up on this wall and dry locked all the way up, but it is what it is. Uh, we got this guy in a nick of time and it worked out great. So tomorrow's plans is to make a hard line on the wall paint the bottom black and then leave the floor for the absolute last but we're getting closer we're getting closer to having this garage look there's um so there's one light blocked off and then those two are taped up one two and it's and it's still pretty bright in here uh thank you to Carlito so much Nick Jeff they helped out all day uh, we got to share some pizza together and just vibe and chill, and it was a great time. Um, I appreciate them so much. I appreciate everybody in the comments. I appreciate... Uh, real quick before I get out of here. Um, uh, there's, there's been a lot of people that have been trying to send me money, and I really don't... I know you guys want to help. I know you guys want to help, all right? And you always say, hey, Ak, when are we going to get to pay you back? All right. If you have my cash app and PayPal, send whatever you want. I'm not going to give it out. If you really, really want to help, then you should, you should be able to find my cash app and PayPal. Because I do have to let you guys start helping out more because I know that you want to. And you want to do that good deed. Since I'm always doing good deeds for you, you guys always, you're trying to figure out how to pay it back. I'm not going to give out my cash app. I'm not going to give out my PayPal, but I know you guys want to help. If you know my Cash App, if you know my PayPal, then you send whatever you feel like you want to send. I appreciate you guys. This garage is going to do much more for everybody. It's looking, it's looking 50 times better. So, uh, From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everything you guys have done, done for me. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait till this garage is done. I can't wait to pull the EK in here. Uh, I can't wait to get to work. I'm excited. I'm eager. I wake up every morning bright, bright and early. You know, eager to, to move forward in life. And today's a, today's a, a huge accomplishment. We painted the garage. You know? But uh, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Show some love. And uh, I love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Keep gunning.